This is Bob Iverson. Joining me today at Liberty Village is Darcy Dreer, who is the administrator for Hawthorne Inn, and Kimberly Laloop, who is the director of the new memory care unit. Can you describe to us what the memory care unit is compared to what you've had in the past? What are the ex expansions and improvements? Um, we're offering a lot more uh, therapy um, with the programming, um, therapy for the mind. Uh, we're doing individualized evaluations on their cognitive scores and um, that type of thing to see what functioning level they're at. We're offering um, environmental issue, uh, new changes. Um, so anyway, we're putting those into place too. Um, so uh, we're offering just things that will help the individualized programming for each resident. One thing that we've noticed is that if you are able to do a therapy assessment on them and find out where their actual cognitive level is, and we base their programming off that cognitive level, we are seeing a decrease in behaviors, crying episodes, those type of situations that really hurt families and it hurts the patients. So if we can figure out exactly where they are intellectually, we are able to help them in the long run. Was there also a, a, a physical changes of some of the building or is it largely uh, a unit change in what you do? So there was a little bit of physical changing. We learned that we actually changed all of our toilet seats to black toilet seats. And we, I know, and we have a contrast wall now behind the toilet seat. And I'll let Kim kind of explain to you what the reasoning for that is, mm -hmm. because a lot of people have questioned, why would you have a black toilet seat? That's gonna confuse someone. And it really doesn't, so I'd love for Kim to explain why we did that. The individual Alzheimer's resident seems to focus on that wall and the you know toilet in place. Um, it's uh, put in place for a fall prevention um, you know, they focus on another thing we have done is put red dishes in place um, where before we had white, where, you know, the resident may be eating white rice, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes, a piece of bread. And do they really see that on the white where it's brought out into the red? Now, what uh, at what point does a family know that they should be consulting someone like this center? for their loved one. At what point do you need the kind of help that you folks offer? So I think each one is individually based. It depends on how the family is able to care for the loved one at home. You know, the family, you don't want to get burnout. You don't want them to have caregiver stress because that can be more harmful in the end. They're very stressed out. Um, and sometimes they wait too long to put their loved one in a long-term care setting such yeah. as this. So the time that they start feeling frustrated, tired, it's time to let them let us care for the loved ones like they're one of our own. I understand this is some time in coming, too. The, the you started a lot of this work before the... Yes. COVID pandemic and isolation. So I kind of slowed you down. We did. We started, I think it was supposed to be in 2020 was our original uh, ribbon cutting and changing this whole programming. But unfortunately due to COVID and especially COVID in healthcare, it was definitely mm -hmm. delayed. But now we are really excited to see the changes coming. We've already implemented a lot of the changes. Uh, falls have already decreased. Behaviors have already decreased. Appetites are going up. So we're really excited to see once we really fully are able to get into this and understand and see the benefits for our residents. Mm -hmm. But how many people are in your unit at this point? Uh, how many residents? You have 22? Oh, I, I have 23 residents and I have a census for 26 beds. So we only have three open beds right now. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Right, thank you very much. This is uh, for the opening of the memory care unit at Liberty Village. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. Thank you.